So here we have the uh, Nokia E6, which is a Symbian touch and type phone from Nokia. So this is basically a successor to the E72 with the touch screen. So you have the full QWERTY keypad and also the uh, touch screen. So it's um, having an 8 MP camera on the back with a uh, LED flash and it has a 1500 mAh uh, BP4L battery. So on the right you have the uh, volume keys, um, the uh, lock and lock button. So you also have the uh, voice memo key, Com voice command button. So this is the voice command button on the right and uh, you have the volume keys here. And you have the uh, micro USB port here on the left. And on the back you have the TMP camera with uh, dual LED flash and the loudspeaker also. And on the top you have the uh, micro SD card slot. This is the micro SD card slot, and yeah, so you have the uh, micro SD uh, card slot, 3.5 mm uh, jack, and the power button. And you have the nice uh, QWERTY keys here. So, this is how the uh, handset looks when it's powered up. So you have a nice response, a very responsive touchscreen and it's running on this latest version of Symbian called Ana, Symbian Ana, comes pre-installed and uh, let's take a look at the uh, messaging uh, app. So this is how good the typing is. So this is Varun from so it's pretty good the feedback is pretty good and you have a touch screen so it's pretty nice it comes in very handy So let's go over to the uh, Photos app. So as you can see the screen is really responsive and supports uh, multi-touch and pinch to zoom. It's pretty nice. So let's uh, take a look at the browser. So this runs on the latest version of Symbian, so it has a new improved browser. So we have um, the website. So let's open up the main website. So let's see how quickly it loads it. So it loaded it pretty well. So it even supports JavaScript because the pop-up got closed. So yeah, so it's loading the full version of the uh, page. So that's the browser for you. And then let's take a look at the maps. So 
answer everything. So let's check out uh, that's doing it quickly. So this is the uh, we are in Bangalore right now. So it's taking my position as in Bangalore. It's pretty good. So the screen is there, so you can use the screen for panning around the map. We can get out of the map. So let's. Uh, so you have the home screens, and um, let's check out some music. So let's play this. There's a cover flow for the music. That's nice. So let's check out if there are any videos. You can stretch the video or uh, make use in widescreen. I think the stretch is the best option because of the tiny screen. So this is the video. Let's check if YouTube works. It's going to the uh, YouTube website. So let's see if something interesting. That's the uh, YouTube playback. So This is uh, two updates available. So this is software app. So let's um, <coughs> take a look at the notification sounds concept. So it comes with Quick Office. So you can create uh, and edit uh, Word, Excel, and presentations. So this is a zip file manager. That's Doiku's part. I don't know if that's pre-installed, but that would be nice. So let's take a look at that camera.
is straight you can hit uh,